Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, welcome. So it is Saturday. We have a lot of things to get done. I need to get some meal prep done today for next week. We have some grocery shopping that we're gonna go do in a little bit. Um, so stay tuned for the grocery haul as well as the uh, meal plan for next week. And, um, but right now my husband is out doing some yard work that needed to get done today on the only day that it's not supposed to rain here. <laughs> it's been raining all week. So I'm gonna make him a quick breakfast sandwich so that he has something to eat, fuel his body so he can finish the things outside and we can go do some things that we need to get done, um, do some running around. So let's get in the kitchen and let's make this. All right, friends. So I'm going to make him a copycat kind of of a Subway breakfast sandwich that we used to get um, years ago. We used to stop in there on our way to go and visit my mother-in-law. She was battling cancer and we used to go up every Saturday. I would bring meals to her and she, we would do some things for her around the house. Tony would do some yard work. I would do some cleaning, some grocery shopping, all the things. And so we would stop and grab one of these sandwiches on our way out. And they were always so good. We haven't done it in years, but he always loved it. So we're gonna get in the kitchen and make one of these now. I have some bacon already cooking in the oven right now at about a, maybe three quarters of a pound that I hadn't used from the other night when we did our copycat chicken bacon sandwiches from Arby's. So we're cooking that up. We have um, leftover bun here. This is not really the buns that they use. They use more like a hamburger bun kind of thing when they do their sandwiches, but this will be work fine. It'll work fine. I have, uh, oh, my nose itches. I have a tomato that's not looking super great, but we're gonna go ahead and use that. We have some red onion. We have some pepper jack cheese, and we have a couple of eggs. So let's get this sandwich made. All right, so I'm gonna do my eggs in the oven because I've already got the oven on. My bacon's in there cooking. I'm gonna just take advantage of um, the oven already being on and just cook the eggs in there. So we're gonna cook them on a sheet pan, which is going to be totally fine. We're gonna scramble these up real quick, put a little bit of heavy cream and a little bit of salt and pepper in these, and these are going to be amazing. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of salt in our eggs. We're gonna use some red pepper flakes instead of just regular pepper. He loves red pepper flakes. So we're gonna add, take the opportunity here to add a little bit of spice <clears throat> to his eggs. We'll put in just a little splash of heavy cream. That looks about right. Grab our whisk. We're gonna give these a really quick mix and we're just going to dump it right on our pan. I think before I put these in here though, I think I want to put a little bit of butter on our pan, stick it in the oven and let that butter melt just so that I can have a non-stick surface for my eggs. Just a little bit. We don't need a lot. Just a little butter. Let's put this in the oven real quick. Let that butter melt. We'll just get a, a brush and we'll smear it around. And that way our eggs are not gonna stick when they come out of the oven. I would I like to get the eggs off of the pan and on the sandwich, not have them stick. So as soon as we get our butter out here, it should just take a second because the oven is at 400. It's almost done. Just like that, our butter is melted. Let's give this a little bit of a brush here. Make sure you get up around the sides too because the egg will stick in the sides and the corners if we're not careful. So make sure we're getting everything coated really well. All right, that looks good. All right, we got our eggs. We're gonna go ahead and dump these right into our pan. And this is just gonna make a really thin egg. We're gonna be able to cut this and fold it and put it right on our sandwich. I will probably put the cheese directly on this when it comes out so that it has a chance to melt. So let's get this back in the oven. Our bacon is smelling amazing. All right, we're gonna let that cook. Let's go ahead and get our veggies prepped. Like I said, 
Our tomato's not looking super great, but it's still got a little bit of life left in it. So we're gonna go ahead and just do some slices of tomato. Do four slices. That looks good. Let's do a little bit of onion. And I want this pretty thin. I'm going to peel off this outer layer. It's not looking so great. All right. So let's go ahead and do some really thin. Apparently, I need to sharpen my knife. Think that's going to be enough onion. We don't need a ton, we just need a little bit. All right, our eggs will be done in a few minutes, and so will our bacon. All right, so here is our egg that looks amazing and it's super thin. But while it's still hot, we're going to go ahead and put a piece of cheese on this one end over here. that on there and let's get this flipped over because I really want my cheese to be in between the eggs just like that so it can start to melt a little bit and our bacon is almost done so let's go ahead and start assembling our sandwich and we'll put our bacon on in just a second so I think this is gonna be a little big to go on my bun so let's cut off a chunk Let's see. You know, we'll leave it like this because then he'll have um, he'll have some for another day. So we're gonna go ahead and put our onions on top of our eggs. We're gonna put our tomato on here. Looks like I'm only gonna get probably three slices on here, which that'll be fine. And we're gonna put our bacon on. And he's going to have enough to have another sandwich um, probably tomorrow. I'm going to pull out a couple pieces. We'll stick the rest of this back in the oven to finish cooking. But we're going to pull off a couple pieces. I think we'll probably do three. Looks like we've got at least three pieces that are ready to pull off the tray. I want to put these on a little paper towel because they need to drain. I don't want all that grease in the sandwich. All right, so let's go ahead and flip it over real quick. Just make sure, like I said, we don't want all this, <clears throat> all this bacon grease all over everything. So we wanna make sure that we're patting it dry, getting everything off of there. All right, we're just gonna use our knife. I'm gonna cut these into smaller pieces. And then we're gonna just layer these right on our breakfast sandwich. This is gonna be a nice and hearty sandwich. You know, I think I'm gonna put on just a little bit of mayo on this piece. Tony doesn't tend to like a dry sandwich. So let's just go ahead and put just a little bit. Right here on our bread. I'm telling you friends, this looks amazing. If I liked hot peppers, or pepper flakes, I would be eating this, but I'm not going to. So here is our delicious breakfast sandwich for my hubby. We're gonna run this out to him so he can enjoy this and then finish his yard work. But I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen this morning as we made a really quick, easy breakfast for him. Super easy, you can customize this, anything you want. If you don't like bacon, do sausage. If you wanna do vegetarian, you can totally do vegetarian. You can not put the hot pepper flakes in your eggs if you don't want to. Put some herbs in there. Customize the veggies however you want to have it, but this is going to be a super tasty breakfast for him. I'm excited to give this to him. I hope you guys will join me again in my kitchen soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please give this video a like and hit that notification bell. I would love to have you guys as part of my YouTube family. It would mean so much to me to have you guys join me again, and we'll see you soon, friends. We'll talk to you in the comments. Have a great day and God bless.